Hello everyone and welcome back to Ghost Paper. For this video, I actually want to show you a new feature here for Procreate 5, which is the dual brush. It's something that I just found out and I can't wait to show you guys what that actually does. So in order for me to show you what the dual brush actually does, uh, I had to prepare two sources that are going to be individual brushes. So the first one is going to be this texture right here. And the next one, I'm just going to turn that off, these two layers. And the next one is going to be this like little star field, little sparkle that we're going to add to the brush as a secondary brush within the dual brush. So let's first prepare the individual brushes. So the first thing that we're going to do is to export each shape separately so I can build the individual brushes. So we're going to go here into the tools, share, and we're going to share as a PNG file. And I'm just going to save that image onto my camera roll. So now I'm going to turn off this texture and I'm, going to, and I'm going to turn on these stars and again going into the actions menu and we're just going to export as a PNG as well and save image as well. So now we're just going, going to go into the brushes menu and we're going to create a new brush. So here in the default brush menu we're going to, uh, to go into shape where you're going to click edit and import. We're going to import a photo and it's going to be the very first brush that we've created. So I'm going to click done. And that is the shape of, of our first brush. So as you can see, nothing special here. We're going to add a few things such as we can scatter it a little bit. So I'm going to add a little scatter. can do a little rotation to make things a little bit more randomized. Count. Um, I'm going to leave around one or maybe two. That should be okay. We're going to randomize even more. We're going to flip a few axes here. And uh, let's just see, maybe on color dynamics, we're going to add a little bit of color. Actually, you know what I might do? I actually might just get a little bit of secondary color. Um, some saturation needs to go up. There we go. Well, let's just say something like this, just for now. Okay. So this will make my brush at every stro stroke ha uh, have a different color. Something really interesting, uh, just, you know, like a new feature that's coming up with Procreate 5 as well. The ability to have uh, colorized brushes that are, that are randomized with, with every stroke. So this is going to be your first brush. I'm not going to go too crazy with this one so I can speed up this tutorial. So now we're going to create our second brush and now same thing. We're going to go into shape, edit. We're going to import, import photo. And this time we're getting the little stars. And now if I test this brush, it's going to look like this. So we need to tweak it so we can definitely see those uh, little sparkles. So I'm definitely going to do scatter for this one. Uh, rotation is not really necessary. Um, what else can we do here? Dynamics. Let's see if we can play with the size. I guess not. Oh, here we go. Size should be okay. Jitter on the size might be good to have a little bit. Opacity is also kind of interesting. Color dynamics. I might be doing something for sure. Very, very colorful. Here we go. Something like that. Okay. Now that we have our two brushes, meaning we have our first brush with this, which is this scatter brush. And the next one is our sparkly brush. We can go back into the brush panel here, select both brushes, and then we're going to click combine. And now guys, we have our combined brush of the two layers put together into one. We have that little shape and we have the sparkles at the same time. So when now, when I click the edit brush, I have these two features here. So as you can see, I have my uh, brush one and I have brush two uh, together into one brush. And now I can change the way that these brushes actually are combined together with the blending mode. And I'm going to set to add just to make things like really uh, as visible as possible. And now when I draw with a brush, with the combined brush, I have now 
two brushes into one. Just check out how cool is that. And the options and the possibilities are now doubled and probably much bigger now for you to create brushes in Procreate 5. This is going to be a game changer when it comes to brushes on Procreate and all of the possibilities that are going to open once Pro Procreate 5 goes public and we all can tweak the settings on these brushes and create our own brushes by combining two different brushes into a complete new one. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, a like would be super appreciated. As well as please make sure to subscribe to the channel for more news, tips and tricks, speed paint videos. And that is all for you to become a better digital illustrator. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.